Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to delete or remove a lens or filter from your Snapchat carousel. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, the first thing that we'll do, of course, is just open up Snapchat here. I'll open it up, and to access the carousel with all of the lenses and filters, you can tap the little smiley face at the bottom right here, right next to your camera icon. So we tap that, and it'll pop up with all these different lenses and filters. You can swipe to the left, swipe to the right. You can see all these different ones. Usually the first one is an ad. And you notice that because it's a company, you can see this one is Marvel. If I tap the little I on the top left here, it'll say report ad, why am I seeing this ad? So there's no way to remove the ad filters. They're just on here. Um, you could try to report it, and maybe they would not show it on your, your carousel anymore. But generally, these ads, you just don't have much control over removing or adding them. That's part of how Snapchat makes money, so they're going to want to have that in there. Now, if you go to some of these other lenses or filters, I'm at this unicorn one. You can see, again, I have that little eye at the top left here. I can tap on that. There are a bunch of different options, and you can see... The second option is to remove the lens. And you can see it was just remove it, removed from my carousel. I can go to a different one, I can tap it again, and I can hit remove. Now, if you go through here, you'll notice some of these, again, Nike, this is an ad, you'll tap that, and you won't be able to remove that from your carousel. So if you go through here, you can remove all of these various ones that they kind of suggest you to use. And if you wanted to add, say, your own um, filter or, or lens or whatever, you can swipe all the way over to the left here until you get to the little search icon. And you can tap on that search icon. And from here, you can do all different kinds of ones. You can see, say, this is the top lens. So we can use that one. At the very top, there's the eye again. And you can see you can send it to friends. You can view the profile of that, you can subscribe to that creator, the person who created that lens. So you can do a bunch of different things, go to the lens page, and then of course you can also just use that lens for yourself and take a story or whatever. Hope that helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.